A very warm welcome to all. My name is Vaisan Paul and currently I am in the HPLC Instrumentation Lab of ISFCP. And here we have our HPLC unit. HPLC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography and also known as High Pressure Liquid Chromatography. So it has basically six parts. The solvent reservoir, the pump, the injector, column, detector and recorder. So the very first thing to do HPLC is washing and before that we need to do a purging. Purging is basically removal of bubbles from the solvents. So as the bubbles removed and purging is over we can go with the further that is washing. So we will close the knob go to the menu and click on flow here uh, it is already set 1 ml per minute so currently we have a flow rate of 1 ml per minute and we need to take care of the pressure which is which should not exceed, exceed 4000 psi so now we are finished with the washing now we will do purging and followed by washing with a solvent to rinse uh, the column for that first I will stop the flow and let the pressure decrease After that, I'll put the sinker in the sinker bottle which contains the mobile face. And now purge. For that, I will open the knob and go to the menu. Start purge. After purging, we will rinse our column with the mobile face. For that, I will go to the menu and go to run. And now the mobile face will run or go through the column to rinse it. So after monitoring with the mobile face, we will now inject a sample. But before injecting the sample, we will inject a blank in the injector to remove all the residuals of the previous drugs. For that, I will abort. And now, I will click on prepare. and inject the blank again click on the inject and pull down this knob After injecting blank, now it's time to inject a sample. We inject the sample with the same procedure as we inject the blank. We'll click on prepare, inject. Again, we click on inject and put the knob in the down direction. Before injecting your sample in the column, we should filter it 
to remove any any unwanted particles that are present in the sample or in the solvent so that our column wouldn't be choked. Now we'll discuss briefly about the parts of HPLC. So coming to pump, we have basically three types of pump. That is reciprocating pump, change type pump and pneumatic pump. So here we have reciprocating pump which have a to and fro motion and to fill the solvent into the well and with the help of motor and piston it will pressurize to move into the column. And now to, talking of about injector we have basically two type of types of injector that is uh, auto injectors and manual injectors. In manual injectors we have iodine injectors and has a capacity of 20 microliter. Now we have a column. We have uh, the two basic types of column is normal phase and the reverse phase. So here we have reverse phase column uh, in which the mobile phase is polar and stationary phase is non-polar. Coming to detector. Here we have UV detector of water's cooperation model number 2489 and other than UV we also have other detectors like PD detector, RA detector and so on and so forth. Now to operate HPLC we have a particular software that is Empower Pro and here we can see our six uh, options. Number one is run sample. In run sample we can directly go and we can run our samples which are previously made. And in browse project, we can browse a project that uh, the work that we have previously done. In configure system, we can make a new project. In process data, we can configure, we can integrate a already configured and process uh, project. And review data, we can see, we can review it. And in print, we can take out the print of a chromatogram. Now I will go to my project. That is, I, I have to run my sample, so I will click on run samples and search my project. So a window has appeared of my project. We can set it. After running our sample, we got the chromatogram and the peak at the retention time of 4.5 minutes. And this is our final results. Thank you.